Hello, this is Devin Lockett here at the Biometrics Health Center, and today's video is going to be about doing synchrony neural feedback while taking monatomic gold, also known as Ormus. Here at the Biometrics Health Center, uh, we perform different therapies to help people find a higher quality of life. One of the therapies that we do is neural feedback, also known as EEG biofeedback. I did another video about um, neural feedback and brain training, and if you click here, you can see it and check it out. I go into the uh, tenets of neural feedback, what we do, uh, the different modalities, infralow, alpha, theta, and uh, synchrony neural feedback. Um, now, today, I'm going to be talking about doing synchrony neural feedback um, at a pretty high frequency while taking monatomic gold, also known as Ormus. We're going to get into the details after this message from our sponsor. Gold Label Quality Biomed RX CBD Oil is made from organic hemp that is locally grown, glyphosate-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, homogenized, third-party tested, and CO2 extracted. Visit www.biomedrxcbd.com. All right, now... Um, Monatomic Gold, also known as Ormus, um, you can find out a lot about Ormus if you look at a previous video that I did about uh, Monatomic Gold. Uh, if you look at it, you can click right here if you, uh, you want to see it. Now, um, Monatomic Gold has a lot of uh, really beneficial effects uh, for people, one of which is that it encourages the left and right hemisphere of the brain to uh, work in synchrony with each other better. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do an experiment. I'm going to hook myself up for synchrony neural feedback. When I do synchrony neural feedback, I train at 50 hertz, which is the highest uh, frequency available in the Signet software uh, for this particular um, neural feedback modality. And we're going to do it for 30 minutes first without monatomic gold, without uh, Ormus. Then I'm going to give myself some monatomic gold, and we're going to do another 30 minutes. And I'm going to um, allow you to see and hear the uh, session, because what goes on during the session is important. And um, I'm going to also allow you to see the chart that is produced at the end of the session, so that you can see the difference between how the brain responds uh, with and without um, monatomic gold or with and with with and without Ormus while doing synchrony neural feedback okay so first I'm gonna I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm preparing myself for neural feedback I'm putting the probes on my frontal lobe f1 and f2 and uh, I'm sorry f1 and f2 <laughs> and uh, the frontal lobe controls um, inhibitory control and executive control and I'm going to put the uh, back I'm going to put more probes here on the parietal lobe so we're going to be establishing new neural pathways uh, from the frontal lobe to the parietal lobe and uh, we're going to be synchronizing the left and right hemispheres of my brain to work together uh, during this process we have um, sonic feedback. You're going to be hearing what I'm hearing during the neural feedback process. And you're going to be hearing uh, sounds, tones, uh, music, um, natural sounds like water. But what I want you to listen for are gongs. They're going to be gong sounds. Boom, boom, boom. And these gong sounds happen whenever both hemispheres of my brain are operating in synchrony with each other at the target frequency. So um, this is important uh, for you to pay attention. And you're going to also watch the charts. The graphs um, on the Signet software are going to show the uh, different brainwave um, patterns. Uh, there's going to be a different uh, wave line for delta, um, theta, 
alpha, beta, high beta, and gamma. Now, where I'm going to be training is in the high gamma range. So there's not going to be a um, chart line, a graph line, representing high gamma. However, on the bottom chart, there are going to be spikes. There's a different type of chart that gives spikes every time um, I trigger. When I trigger, that means, like I said before, both hemispheres of my brain are operating in synchrony with each other at the target um, frequency, at the reward frequency of 50 hertz. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to finish hooking myself up, uh, putting the gel and the paste on my head. And then we're going to rejoin, we're going to regroup in the um, neurofeedback room so I can show you um, how it works on the software and hardware uh, that we have set up for neurofeedback. Okay, uh, first we prep with um, a cotton ball that has alcohol, right? Get the area clean. We're going to go F one F2 frontal lobe to parietal lobe P3 to P4 we call this protocol front to back start off with alcohol then you take some new prep new prep it has a little bit of uh, exfoliation so it kind of it's a little rough but uh, it gives you a good Good connection. Now, I find that bald people tend to give, uh, it's kind of difficult to get a good connection on bald people because uh, their skin tends to be like leather after being in the sun. The hair protects, your hair protects your skin. Okay, so this is F1, F2 to P3, P4, frontal lobe 1 and 2, to parietal lobe 3 and 4. Take a little bit of paste. Watch it all in place. After a while, you learn your way around the neocortex. In other words, you learn the different areas of the brain that you train to affect different uh, aspects of cognitive function, um, thought, and behavior. As you can see, I'm applying it here. Okay. Now, this is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing. Um, about consciousness hacking, because that's what this is, uh, neuro hacking or consciousness hacking. Um, this is not, we, we do a lot of therapies that help people. I've helped a lot of people with uh, anxiety, stress, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, insomnia, um, eating and sleeping disorders, addiction. Um, but this is what you call peak performance neurofeedback training, or it even goes beyond peak performance. This is uh, consciousness hacking, neuro hacking. Um, we're actually trying to uh, get uh, the most out of our brains, the most out of uh, the hardware that we have. So now you see I've got the paste and you know put on the frontal lobes as well as the parietal lobe. And uh, like I said, we're going to regroup in the neurofeedback room. Okay, here we are on uh, the screen for synchrony neurofeedback. Uh, this is one of the three disciplines that we perform here. We do infralow neurofeedback, alpha theta neurofeedback, and synchrony. Now here at synchrony, you can see that we've got the entire spectrum of frequencies from 0, 10, 20, 30, for 40 hertz. So that means we can train in the uh, delta, theta, alpha, beta, uh, high beta, and gamma range, and it goes up to 40 hertz. But let me show you something. If you click here, you can slide it up to 40, right? And it stops there. But if you click on the arrow, you can inch up in 0.25 hertz increments all the way till you get to 50 hertz. Now, what I suggest, if you're going to try to train at such a high frequency as 50 hertz, um, you should go up 
in 0.25 increments, 0.25 hertz increments, um, from 40 hertz to 50 hertz, because it is kind of a push and it's kind of a stretch into the uh, into the super uh, peak performance training zone uh, to train at 50 hertz. It's going to take a while to get your brain uh, to adjust, but I've been doing this for over a year now at this frequency, so I've pretty much provoked the shift. Now, so what we're going to do is I'm going to begin my session, okay, and you're going to see my left hemisphere, my right hemisphere, and the composite of both of my uh, uh, hemispheres here. You're going to see my brainwave activity going on right here. And on this side, you're going to see a chart which will show you a graph uh, that has my delta in red, theta in purple, alpha in blue, beta in yellow, high beta in white. Okay. Now, like I said, we're training in high gamma, so there's not going to be a line up here to correspond with that. But I want you to watch this chart here on the second level, the second chart, because the second chart is going to have uh, spikes every time both hemispheres of my brain are in synchrony with each other at 50 hertz, there's going to be a spike that's signifying a trigger. OK, so what we're looking for is the amount of triggering my brain can do uh, with synchrony at 50 hertz for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take some monatomic gold, Ormus, and turn the session back on. And we're going to see, we're going to compare the results from the first 30 to the last 30 minutes. OK, so we're going to go to feedback, synchrony. I'm going to select a graphic for my synchrony neural feedback. And then we're going to begin the session. Okay, I'm going to choose. I'll choose my son's favorite graphic. Okay, so just pay attention. While I do my neural feedback, my first, I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. Pay attention while I do my first 30 minute half session. We're going to pause this for a second because I'm going to also hook up the sound so that you hear uh, exactly what's happening during my uh, during my session.
Okay, so what you've seen is my uh, first few minutes of neural feedback. I was going to make it a full half hour, but I don't want to put you to sleep on this video. I think we got enough um, neural feedback done so that you could see my brain's reaction without Ormus. And now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of Ormus, a little bit of uh, monatomic gold. And then I'm going to continue neural feedback. And I want you to see the difference in how my brain reacts. Okay. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to go back to therapy. I'm going to start the therapy again.
Okay, now I'm not sure um, if you were able to notice a difference between uh, when I did neural feedback without Ormus and when I did neural feedback with Ormus. Um, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to have much of a difference to show you in the graphs either. But I can definitely tell you that I felt different. Um, I can definitely tell you that uh, from a feeling level that... Um, I don't know, it just feels different, it feels better. It feels like my mind is more uh, uh, easily prepared to trigger when I'm uh, taking Ormus. But this is the first of many videos that I'm gonna be doing about this. So um, just keep watching in future videos. I think the, uh, the difference between pre-Ormus and post-Ormus is gonna really uh, make itself more obvious. In fact, what I think I may do is do another video without doing Ormus at all and then do a series of videos just doing Ormus and then show you the entire, uh, the entire session that way. And I think I'll also start uh, by taking Ormus about a half hour before my session. I think that also, uh, that also has an effect because you have to give the Ormus a, time, uh, a, a little bit of time to, to take effect. Well, that's the end of our first video on uh, combining neural feedback with Ormus, also known as monatomic gold. I'm going to do a lot more videos about this because I'd like you to see the effects of Ormus under different types of neural feedback, not just synchrony. I want to do Ormus with uh, alpha theta neural feedback as well as with infralow neural feedback. And I want to show you the results of that as well. Um, like I said, thank you, God, thank you again for joining us here on Biomed Rx TV. If you like this video, please remember to click the like button and subscribe, share the video, and comment. Also, um, if you'd like to provide us with a little financial support for, for making these great videos, feel free to become a patron on our Patreon channel at patreon.com forward slash Biomed Rx TV and patreon.com forward slash Devin Lockett. And as always, I would like everyone to stay kind because kind is the new sexy. Stay blessed and stay healthy. Thank you again for watching Biomed RX TV.